Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations. In this video, we will be solving x power 10 equal to 25 power x. While solving this problem, we will see exponent exponent properties, algebraic manipulation, and then we will see the complete solution. There are three solutions for this equation. And if you will apply algebra, you will get only one solution. Let's begin this video, then we can talk in between. I will start with, I will begin with the first method that is using logarithmic and then exponent. So let me write the method number one. So let's take log first. ln x power 10 equal to ln 25 power x. So it will become 10 ln x equal to x ln 25. Then I can write ln x over x. I will take x towards left that will come in the denominator and right hand side will become ln 25 over 10. Now we know that ln 25 can be written as 5 square over 10. Now ln a power b we can write any time b ln a. So ln x over x, it will become 2 ln 5 over 10. I will cancel this 10 by 5. Now ln x over x equal to ln 5 over 5. So it's it is visible that x equal to 2 if you will compare both sides then we will get x equal to 5 is our solution. Okay, this is method of logarithmic. So method 1 using log. Method 2 using exponents and properties okay so what i will do equation i will put let me write here equation first x power 10 equal to 25 power x let's take power 110 both sides so i will write x power 10 whole power 1 over 10 equal to 25 power x whole power 1 over 10. Now this 10, this 10 will get cancelled out. So we are left with x is equal to 25 power x whole power 10. Now I know I can write few properties that is a power b whole power c can be written as a power b c can be written as a power c power b. Okay, so this 25 power x whole power 10 can be written as 25 power 10 a power b power c can be written as a power c power b. So I will write 25 power 10 whole power x by the same exponent property. So now 25 can be written as 5 square. So I will write 5 square whole power it would be 25 power it is missing I guess it was 1 over 10 we missed out so it will be 1 over 10 now it will become 5 square whole power 1 over 10 so shall I write directly here 1 by 10 that power x so it is coming out 2 and 10 will get cancelled out 5 power 1 over 5 whole power x okay now take both sides 1 x power so it will or you can take this power to the left so it will come out x power 1 over x is equal to what i should write 5 power 1 over 5 now just by comparing both sides we'll have solution from exponent which is same as solution from logarithmic now you will get, you will see x is coming out 5. Okay. Now 
now see x equal to 5 is coming out only one solution possible for this equation but if i will consider this as let me use this if i will consider this equation as fx is equal to x power 10 minus 25 power x and if i will show you few values only f of 0 okay find out f of 0 0 power 10 minus 25 power 0 okay so it this value will come out negative 1 which is negative 0 power 10 is 0 minus 25 power 0 is 1 so it is min negative 1 which is 0 now f of 1 if i will calculate 1 power 10 1 minus 25 still it is negative minus 24 f of 2 what i am trying to show where our other roots are f of 2 just see 2 raised to the power 10 minus 25 power 2 which is 1024 minus 625 obviously this value would be positive that means one root is in between one root or solution is in between 1 and 2 it is confirmed okay now come to negative side f of 0 we have calculated let's see f of minus 1 okay find out so it will become minus 1 power 10 minus 25 power minus 1 so it will become even power so positive 1 minus 1 over 25 so that value will be 24 over 25 and observation point is it is positive now see f minus 1 is positive and f 0 is negative that means second possibility second root of this or second solution of this exponential equation is in between let me write here second solution is in between 0 and negative 1. Now there are methods available but we will use newton ramson method. Let me write only that formula xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus fxn over f dash xn. Now fx is this much x power 10 minus 25 power x so f dash x would be it should be differentiable so if we will differentiate this then 10 x raised to the power 9 minus 25 power x ln 25 now what i need to do i have to find out approximation x equal to 1 second approximation iteration basically x equal to 0 we'll get here I will get solution. Let me write from in between 1 and 2 we will have solution 1.765. Just I need to apply first value is f dash x which will be useful in our denominator. Here I will use fxn is our fx which is available here. Need to put only values xn we will consider for in between 1 to 2, you can consider xn equal to 1. In between 0 and 1, you can consider xn equal to 0. You can begin. After 3, 4 iteration, we will get 1.765 is second solution. And between 0 and minus 1, here we will have value negative 0 0.7783. Let me write here negative 0 0.7783. So overall, if you will see, three solutions are there. X equal to 5. X equal to 1.765. X equal to minus 0 0.7783. There are three solutions. Now you can see. First one. Second one. 
and third one is from logarithmic and algebra logarithmic and exponential using algebra and otherwise newton ramson specific method for finding out roots or solutions through iterations this is how we can proceed thank you so much for watching if you like this video please do subscribe right now thank you